Hey guys, it's Muriel, and I've had this idea bouncing around in my head for a while, and I wanted to tell you about it so that maybe you could help me with it or give me some feedback, okay? So I am a college student, and right now I'm living in an apartment with a bunch of other girls. Um, the apartment does not allow us to have pets, and most apartments don't allow residents to have animals, which is understandable. Um, and houses that you rent out usually don't allow you to have animals either. Um, but So that's off campus. And if you're not living off campus, you're probably living on campus in the dormitories, which is almost a guarantee that you are not allowed to have, have animals, um, which kind of sucks because I love animals. I, I After like a long day of running around and being super busy and going to classes, I would like to come home to a fluffy, adorable kitty cat and pet it while I do my homework. Um, but I can't do that. <laughs> so basically my idea is to find a way to move um, some animal shelters closer to college campuses and then implement some sort of rent a pet program. Now there are variations of these ideas which um, like people have sort of tried to do before or have or are being done, but um, not all the components are there, which is um, having an animal shelter, move closer to a college campus, and then have a rent a pet program. Those are the components. And here's why I think those three components are really important. <clears throat> um, one, um, animal shelters probably aren't cheap to run, and they generally rely on donations, and they're usually nonprofit. So Times are kind of hard. Sometimes donations don't cut it. And I know that even if donations did, sometimes there's just not enough space. So animals end up getting euthanized because, you know, no one's there to adopt them. And they'll end up just sitting there and there isn't enough space because more animals are always coming in. Um, so through the rent a pet program, students can pay, like, maybe, like, $3 for an hour to play with a puppy or a cat or some other animal, like a bunny rabbit. Oh, I love bunny rabbits. Um, and I know I would. Like, you know, I'm a poor college kid. But, you know, I'd pay like a couple dollars, you know, to play with an animal. So those that money can go towards the animal shelter to help them support overhead and take care of the animals. So extra money there on top of donations. Number two, it's good for the animals because they get um, human interaction and they get to play outside instead of just sitting in their little, like, kennel or their cage just waiting and hoping for someone to adopt them and love them. I mean, uh, uh, they probably do get exercise occasionally, but usually there are, like, a lot of animals in animal shelters, and how often can they run around and exercise? I mean, like, it would just be chaos if they all just start running around. But this way, you know, they would get to, like, go outside and play and have fun. And then number three, it really benefits the students because, um, for one thing, I know I miss my cat, you know, from home. I um, mean, I know I, a lot of students have pets at home which they don't get to play with. And I know that uh, playing with animals generally elevates people's moods. Uh, Paws for People has these, like, pet therapy. It's like a nonprofit pet therapy thing where they, like, bring animals into places and people who are really sad get to play with them. And then they get happy. They get super happy. And I feel like college students, we're super stressed out. We have college loans, we have exams, we have extracurricular activities, all this stuff stressing us out, making us tired. And sometimes we just want that interaction with something like cute and fuzzy and adorable to just boost our mood. And isn't it better than us turning to like alcohol or doing drugs or, or drinking like energy drinks? You know, what not a much healthier way to sort of boost our mood by playing with an animal? You know, so uh, yeah, so it 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 benefits the animal shelter, it benefits the animals, and then it benefits us as students. So I feel like it's a win-win-win situation. And I know that there are probably some legal hoops that you know we would have to jump through. Um, but I, I feel like you know, like this is an alternative to what's going on right now, and it doesn't really sound that bad. I don't think you know just. Like, kids getting to play with animals, and animals getting to play with us, and animal shelters getting extra money. So, you know, uh, please feel free to pass this along to the powers that be, like, like the, the, what is it, SPCA, or 
or a PETA, or especially college, like colleges, you know, maybe they could aid in this too, because I think that'd be awesome if I could just rent a pet, sort of like we used to rent videos or DVDs, even though that's really out of date. I'm not saying pets are objects, I'm just saying like the process of it, I think would be really cool if we could implement that business structure into, you know, caring for animals. So, uh, please think about that, maybe help me out, pass this along. Thank you so much for listening. Much love and rock on. Bye, guys.